What's up guys and welcome back to SLS Animations. It's your boy Jay Logan here with an all new figure review, Velveteen Dream Elite 72. Let's take a look at this pack. You know what, let's just do the intro. Let's go. Jay Logan. So we're back. As you can see, we have Velveteen Dream Elite 72 True Effects technology all over this figure. Big shout out to our friends over at ringsidecollectibles.com, aka wrestlingfigures.com. They are the number one in all of wrestling figures. It doesn't really matter if you think you're doing good because they're just the top, the cream of the crop. Just okay overselling but i'm not even joking if you want an action figure a wrestling action figure that is and you're wondering where to find it you're definitely going to find it at wrestlingfigures.com because they have everything and if they don't have it they're probably going to get it and if you know if they, they've already had it pretty much is what i'm trying to say they're number one uh they've been doing this for you know you know it's what they do so big shout out to them for trusting me with their brand and uh, definitely big shout out for all the photos. If you guys have seen the work on RoomsideCollectibles.com, I've been trying to put in some good work over there, but here he is inside the packaging with that NXT debut, uh, NXT debut outfit attire. There it is from the side. I'm loving these new boxes, but if I did have a suggestion to Bill, I would tell him to go ahead and square that back off. I personally was really loving the square boxes uh this corner with this thing i don't like to put my boxes on the wall like this or even on a bookshelf so unfortunately I, I was starting to collect the boxes and become an moc collector because they fit so neatly but now that uh, mattel's back on these boxes i'm just gonna have to let them all breathe <laughs> go back to what i was originally doing uh this is straight fire. Hold on, are we in focus right now? There we go. Look at that lace. You gotta see that lace? Let me see, is it on the figure? I wanna see if I can show you on the box first. There's all the details on the back. Also on this series, just in case I forgot. Oh, cause I did. Rey Mysterio, Batista, Buddy Murphy, Roderick Strong, and Becky Lynch, the man Becky Lynch. That's the one with the cloth goods jacket. We're definitely gonna be reviewing that one. If we haven't already, please have a look at the channel cause I definitely put in work on that. And you guys already know it comes with the North American Championship. Uh, but I bring it this close to show you the lace. Yeah, there's lace. He's wearing lace underneath that outfit. Like, it's like lace roses, I believe. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. Anyway, I think they nailed it. Here we zoom in. Focus on it. Come on. Oh, that background. There we go. Straight up laced. There's the back from the entire tire. Under the entire attire. All right. So, <laughs> tongue twister. Uh, there's those glasses with the uh, three lenses in them. Uh, I'm not sure if this is the same face scan from the last figure because, unfortunately, I never came across that figure in the wild. Uh, I believe it's up on Ringside Collectibles, but it could be sold out. I'd have to check. Um, but this figure's link is definitely down in the bio, in the description, whether this is IGTV or YouTube, uh, the link is definitely in my description. So if you're looking for this figure, go on ahead and click that link. Use discount code WWE10 to save 10% or any of my friend's codes. It's not really that big of a deal, guys. Uh, let's see here. Look at that. What I'm gonna do now is pause this video and block off the background uh, just because it won't focus. So here we go. All right, so I just slid in this new background. Hopefully that 
fixes the focusing problems we're having in this review. There we go. As I was saying, he comes with exchangeable hands, just one set, so that's four exchangeable hands. Uh, inside the pack here, you have two gripping hands. This is a smaller gripping hand for like a microphone. And of course, the pose hand, I guess you could call it. 32 points of articulation on this. figure let's go through the articulation you got those single jointed elbows here not double jointed like the ultimate edition wrestling figures uh, we got exchangeable hands those pop out easily uh, I pulled it off the camera but it's pretty easy to exchange the uh, hands there the Everything on his head is removable, so we can take these glasses off. Let's go ahead and get those off while I'm struggling to do so, because it was hooked on his ear quite well. Uh, the bandana or headgear. Put that solid on the back. You see here he has the uh, crazy hairdo with the. Uh, Style hair. Let's take that off. So we got True Effects Technology face sculpts looking absolutely amazing. Tell definitely killed it there. That blue attire, got those double jointed knees. How much bend we can get on that. Get some slight articulation out of the uh, feet here. You can definitely get a turn on. But the uh, bending is definitely hindered. bevel out of it. Uh, yeah, definitely poseable figure. Here's how much ab joint we get. About normal for an elite figure. I don't know guys, I'm literally sitting here playing with the figure, not saying a word, uh, stretching it out, <laughs> as I so often do. Um, yeah, kind of out of it a little bit here, guys. And I'm just a little bit out of it. I mean, I'm sitting here with the figure thinking about that uh, purple raindrop <laughs> finisher, you know, the elbow drop. So, in other words, I'm ready to start doing the photo shoot. Um, there's that North American Championship title, just in case you guys missed that. It's been coming in the last couple series lately. It's upside down. I haven't taken out the box yet. Oh, I'm knocking things around. Okay, there you go. Let's go ahead and pop it out show you guys what's going on here. I don't know why I'm wasting my time by showing it that way. Got a nice reflection on it, like a mirror finish. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it. Get into this photo shoot right now because that's all that's on my mind currently is uh, displaying this for you guys. So hopefully I can get it posted up on ringsidecollectibles.com. And you know, definitely gonna be on the gram and I'll probably do a behind the scenes, uh, pros the process toy photography video again on it. And you know, let me know how you feel about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video, which will be one of these amazing figures, either Ray Batista, Buddy Murphy, Roderick Strong, or the man Becky Lynch. You let me know down in the comment which one you want, and thanks again. Peace.